Hi, John. Uh, you there? Yeah, I'm here. All right, well, thank you. I just want to, of course, thank you for taking out the time to uh, give the com this interview. And, uh, you know, I just want to jump right into it. I mean, um, usually we don't witness guys that are with Al Heyman, other than maybe Islandri Laura, call people out. I mean, uh, after you're signing with Al Heyman, uh, I, I would just figure that you wouldn't need to ask for a fight because he gets his fighters the biggest fights possible and the most pay possible. Um, why the need, why do you feel the need to call out Broner and ask for a rematch with Matisse? Um, no, no need as far as calling people out. I mean, like I've said before, you're absolutely right. You you said everything right. When you're with Al Heyman, there's no need to call anyone out. My only reason for doing so is to let everyone know these are the fights that I want, that I want, willing, and able to take. I'm not going to be like, oh, I don't want that fight. Oh, I don't want this fight. No, these are the fights I want. My manager knows that, and he's going to take care of everything else from there on out. But, again, it's not about me calling someone out and saying, oh, let's fight because I can't get the fight or I want this out of the other. Believe me, when you're with Al Heyman, everything's all taken care of. Everything's all, everything's on the up and up. So it was just a matter of letting everyone know that if this fight were to present itself, it's a fight that I'll be willing to accept with open arms. That being said, uh, being that you are with him and we know how he works, you've expressed your interests. What what sort of timeline do you give yourself to be in the ring with the likes of the, the big names in your division? And uh, you are staying at 140, correct? Yeah, staying at 140. And, again, that plays in my manager's hands. Like I said, he's been great for my career. He's been great for everyone else's career. And that that's not what worries me. Again, and I'm glad you brought up that question because I don't want people to get it a misunderstanding that, oh, I need to call someone out to get a fight. If I want to fight, it's going to happen regardless. Um, it, it, it's just up to my, my management who's going to take care of that. And uh, it, so I'm actually very happy that you asked that question. If you're, oh, Molina's looking for a payday. Believe me, we're without him, and we don't, we don't need to look for anything. It's there for us. We just got to keep ourselves in shape and ready to fight. Now, tomorrow marks the 90-day mark since uh, your great fight with uh, Lucas Matisse. Um, when did you get back into the gym and, uh, what sort of, what's the timeline for a, a month or date that you see yourself back in the ring? Regardless of opponent. Before, yeah, I'll be in there before the year's out for sure. Uh, I think it'll be uh, quicker than people anticipate. Uh, when they say the 90th day, as far as, uh, suspension, there was no suspension on me as, in regards to, uh, being no, no. from the fight. No, but, no, no. Um, I mean, no, John. I mean ninety days since. I mean ninety days since the fight itself, not any suspension or because it was an. Oh yeah, myself. no, definitely. I believe me. I'm not at the bit to get back in the ring. I mean, that's that's what I want to do. I, you know, when a fighter fights, and that's what I'm looking forward to doing, and continue to put out great fights for the fans to see. You know, and uh, so I'm excited. I'm sure we'll get in there relatively quickly, a lot quicker than people anticipate. And as soon as that news drops, I'm sure everyone will be. Uh, we and enjoying it because whenever I fight, I'm, I'm sure the fans are going to enjoy it. And uh, when you make your return to the ring, uh, would you still be coming in the ring with Joe Goosen? Uh, actually, there's been a change that I was made recently, and that was with uh, a, a training uh, standpoint. I'm now with uh, Jose Santa Cruz, which is Leo Santa Cruz's dad. So um, it, it's going to be a, a good thing. I'm excited about it. Okay. And. Um... As far as your promotional situation, you're still with uh, Goosen Promotions, right? With Dan Goosen? No, no, no. My Goose, uh, my contract, my promotion contract expired uh, as of uh, June, I believe. Which, uh, you know, everything was good at Goosen Tutor. We we did uh, our Goosen Promotion. I'm sorry, it's no longer called Goosen Tutor. Um, with Goosen Promotions, it's just that we uh, did our five years there. We ended on good terms, and I felt uh, I would like to, uh, you know, try a different avenue and uh, go away. So I did not re-sign a contract with that Goosen Tutor promotion. Uh, not at all odd. Um, I don't know if you know, but most Al Heyman fighters aren't signed to a promoter. So not not uh, uh, unusual, but I did want to be sure because I, I'm sure you've witnessed uh, the, I guess, shift or – things going on over at Golden Boy. So uh, everyone is wondering who signed to who at this point because Al Heyman has every fighter. 
Um, yeah. But, uh, you know, switch of trainers, um, you, you've done that before. And uh, a guy with your style, big puncher, everyone thought that Roberto, uh, Robert, excuse me, Robert Garcia would be the perfect uh, fit. Um, what was the problem there? And why did you not think of him again for this, uh, for this current change? Uh, it just comes down to location. It's uh, Robert Garcia is a great fit. He's a great trainer, a hell of a trainer. Obviously, uh, turn of the year on more than one occasion for good reason. Has great champions out there. Um, but it came down to location. I'm a I'm a I'm a young father, you know, and I like to be around my family during training camp. I, that's just the way I work. That's the way I take. Well, that's how you get the best work out of myself is to be around my family and reminding myself what I'm fighting for. So it it pretty much comes down from location. Uh, Oxnard is about an hour and a half away from my from where I live. So just go out there and live out there for the week and then come back on the weekend. To me, it just it was more of a strain than anything. Understandable. Uh, well, I, I want to ask about uh, fan reaction. I mean, after the fight, uh, you clearly have grown in popularity. Um, how has it been for you? Uh, it's been great, man. I just, you know, I had a late start at this game, so I'm very excited that the fans got to see me for what what it's worth. Uh, definitely, uh, I'm going to go out there and put out great fights like that, but the fans have, have, have definitely accepted me with open arms. Uh, very excited. It makes it uh, easier to work, if you will. Uh, I can't wait to go out there, and I want to continue to show that kind of uh, showmanship in the ring. I want to continue to show those kind of battles that intrigues the fans, that makes the fans – want to root for you to win because they know when they pay their money to come watch you fight, they know exactly what they're going to get, which is a fight. And uh, I know I'm bouncing all around, but since uh, we were talking, uh, Dan Goose, and, and uh, you you know, you said that you ended things good and on good terms, uh, I had a quote for you that he said uh, it was, uh, John is the type of fighter that you want to see have success and make money because they're the ones that give everything they've got. It's really a flashback to yesteryear fighters, which made boxing the most popular sport of any. Um, so here, you know, a guy that clearly has been in the sport that long say, uh, you know, such kind words about you. I mean, how, how does that feel? Uh, like I said, we've always had a great, you know, most great relationship with Goose and Tudor. Uh, outside of the boxing uh, game, we're still going to remain friends. You know, it's just uh, this state, this part of the game, we got to make sure we make the right moves. And I feel the right move for me is to, to be, you know, where I'm at right now. Um, it feels great. You know, I'm glad that I earned his respect. Uh, we had a good five-year run together. And I, I started with Houston Tudor as a rookie, and I ended as a renowned name. So, it, it, like I said, uh, they did their job. I'm very happy with what they did with my career. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited that these guys uh, have nothing but the utmost respect for me. And I share the same respect, uh, to mutual respect both ways. And my final question, because uh, I don't want to take too much of your time, um, being as though that you just moved up from 135, uh, is it safe to say that we'll be able to see John Molina capture a title, if not unify the division? Clearly now Danny Garcia, his fight is going to be at 142. The titles are not on the line. It seems like a Lamont Peterson fight is in play, but those guys will be eventually moving out. And as a guy that just has had one fight at 140 uh, recently, uh we figure could we figure that you're going to stick around for some time and be able to unify that division? I believe, uh, you know, I, I took on the biggest beast in that division. I believe we have a rematch. The fight will end in my favor. Uh, of course, I believe I belong at 140. It was I'm, I feel stronger at 140. I will definitely stick around. But again, if uh, if things happen to uh, change, and you know, 47 is right around the corner as well. It's all about 40. Right now, that's my main focus. That's my mainstay, and I leave that up to the greatest team that I have, you know, Al Heyman and Sam Watson, and what, whatever they say goes. You know, if they tell me that we're going X, Y, and Z, then we're going X, Y, and Z, but I'm definitely staying at 140 right now. Okay, and uh, I know I said that was my last question. I'm going to make this one my last, <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm sorry, but I, I like to ask everyone. No, nah, no worries. Man. You're, you're good. You're good. Thank you. I like to ask everyone who signs to Al Heyman, have they met him? Because very few fighters have actually spoken with him. Uh, Al Heyman is an excellent man. I've definitely met him on more than one occasion. Uh, a very intelligent, educated man, and knows exactly what he's doing. And 
So I can't say enough good things about it. The guy changed my life. I mean, he does what he says, and he says what he does. He's more like an advocate for the fighters than a manager. He definitely has a, a great relationship with those with his fighters, and uh, like I said, everything he's ever told me he was going to do, he made happen. So I have nothing but great things to say about Al Heyman. To answer your question, yes, I've met with him face-to-face. Well, John, with your power and your newfound team, um, I, I, I don't – uh, believe that uh, we, we won't see you as uh, the champion at 140 in the near future. And again, thank you for giving us the time, and we hope to speak to you soon. All right, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. You guys have a good one. All right.